This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my Online Academy. I love being here helping you with playing the guitar. In this Guitar 101 mini course, it's all about learning to play the basic chords and strum those chords. So this is designed towards the beginner who wants to learn how to do this and to play songs, maybe to accompany somebody else singing or to accompany yourself singing. So in the first lesson, which was the last lesson, we worked on G, E minor, C, and D. Four great chords to learn when you're just getting started. You can play lots of songs with those chords. We also worked on basic strumming techniques of all down, going down, up, down, up. And then I introduced one of the most universal strumming patterns you can use for playing across different styles of music with a guitar. I did down, down, up, up, down, or you can do down, down, up, up, down, up, if you can get that up strum in there. So, in this lesson, we're going to be learning about D7. So we're going to start working on a new chord, and we're going to work with G, C, and D7. Lots of songs are written with those three chords. So we're going to work those chords together. We're going to practice here together with an old folk song, Worried Man Blues. It's a great one to work on when working on these chords and this strumming pattern. We're going to continue to work in 4-4 four, four time here, and then in the next lesson, it will be about 3-4 time, using the same chords, but strumming in 3-4 times. So we'll work on that then. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. The G chord should be familiar, and the C chord should be familiar, but I still have them on the board. D7 is the new one. So D7 is familiar. Uh, it's sort of like D, only instead of having 1, 2, and 3, our index finger needs to go the other way, two frets lower. So we stick our index finger there on the second fret. That's what's adding our seventh to the chord, by the way. So chord symbol written up above, D7. Our middle finger goes second fret, third string, and our ring finger goes second fret, top string. We run into D7 all the time. You could play D instead of D7. You'll just be mi mix missing that extra color, but you can still do it. So you got D7. So we got G, C, and D7. Now going between C and D7 is nice because you can leave your index finger and you just have to move the other two back and forth. So you can practice back and forth between D7 and C. In the chord progression that we're going to do, we actually won't ever go between C and D7, but there are songs where you could or would. There are songs where you do, I should say. So once you're kind of comfortable with C to D7, then you want to go back and forth between G and D7. So you have G and D7. G and D7. G and D7. G and D7. Let's go back and forth between those two. G and D7. G and D7. Might be fingering G with your fingers different than how I'm doing it. But D7, we're probably all fingering the same way. Once you've got that down, then we can do the strumming patterns. We're going to use these later when we're working on singing. But we use this one here first. I have it here over on the right side of the board, the strumming pattern. We're going to do four times on G, then three times on C, and one time on G. Then we got four times on G, three times on D7, one time on G. This song is 16 bars and it just repeats. So four bars on G, three on C with one on G, four back on G, three on D7, one on G is how it finishes. You can download below, in the description below, you can download a PDF of this song. I've got it there. You can just download it for free if you'd like to and follow along on there. Or if you want to, you can see that up, up here. We're going to play this string pattern. Down, down, up, up, down. Brush the guitar there, re demonstrate that. So I've got the up strum, but you can do it without. It's as simple as that. And I am kind of swinging it, swinging that rhythm a little bit. This song works either way, but we're going to swing it here. Let's play through this chord progression using this strumming pattern. One, Two, ready, and we'd have G.
Bones strum there on G. So we got that strumming pattern. Let's take a look at singing this song or playing this song. Now, I've got it written there. We've got the notation on the melody that's going to be sung and the tablature below. So different than what I have up here on the board, you're actually seeing the measures with the notation and the lyrics and then the chord symbols written above. So the chord symbol will be written where it comes in in a given measure and then we don't switch chords until the next time we see a chord symbol written above a rhythmic value there on the melody. So what we have with Worried Man Blues on the notation on the PDF matches this chord progression up here, but you're going to see G there over the first complete measure. And then you don't see another chord symbol until you get to the fifth complete measure where you see C come in and then that lasts for three measures before we have G come back in and then G continues for the next that measure plus four more so the next five measures before we see D7 come in which lasts for three measures before the G comes in. Now when learning to play a song it can be really helpful to know the melody if you don't know it and you can play the melody and if you want to work on singing it's really valuable to play that melody and sing it at the same time. I've got it written there in standard music notation if you know how to do that. If you don't, you can check out the note reading books and the videos that go with that. You can also just get into the quick answer videos that can get you started. Or you can read it, that melody in the tablature below. That one's the easiest one to just kind of figure out and jump in. There's quick answer videos that can get you going if you don't know how to already read tablature. And there's uh, different series. You can do the Guitar 101 series. will take you through note reading and tablature and chords in a much more detailed fashion. The tablature book and the note reading books in the method book series have videos that come with them. Go into detail as they're going through there if you want to get good at that. I'm going to go ahead and play this melody. You can play it along with me if you'd like to, but at least try and see sing it and you might think yikes this isn't a key I can sing in and then you can bust out your capo and work on this song uh, not with me but I'm gonna do it in the key it's written in here because we're working on these chords even though it's not necessarily the best key for me to sing it in either but you can work on it and read that tablature above the like if I put the the um, capo on at the third fret I can read above that as if fret 4 would be fret 1 Fret 5 would be 2, 3, 4, and I could read it just the same and then play the chords above it. If you need help with capos, check out the quick answer video on that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play this and sing sing it. You can sing along if you want to try and get the melody figured out. A lot of times with pop songs, you might have already been singing it right along with your artist, your favorite artist singing that song that you like. And that's a great way too. Singing along helps us develop that ear, helps us sort of tune in our vocal cords so we can sing it, sing that melody. It, and this is kind of low. Some ladies may want to sing it up an octave. I'm not a soprano, so I, I'm not going to sing it up there, but I'll sing it right where the guitar is going to play it. So you got one, two, three. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a So if I plug that in with playing, we'll play those chords again. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. I'll sing that. If you're able to, you can too. A one, two, three. And my range but it works out okay so if that's hard keeping that strumming pattern going and singing at the same time 
It's because it takes too much brain power. We have to think about two different things at once. Strumming, or well, really three. Strumming with sort of this complex, slightly syncopated pattern here, and what chords to be playing, and what words and melodies to be singing. So it's like a whole bunch of things, four things at once, if you really count lyrics and the melody separately. So a lot that is happening and some of the things are not the exact same. So the melody that we're singing is at a different rhythmic value than down, down, up, up, down. So it makes it difficult. So the best thing to do is to simplify the strumming patterns while singing and then slowly work in getting that strumming pattern going until you can really play the chords and strum sort of at an automatic way it's hard to be able to sing at the same time so if I were to do this with all down strum we could play through this one with all down strum so you got one two three in D. Down, up, strumming, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, here you go. A one, two, three, it Once I can do that, I want to work that strumming pattern back in. So we'll play it one more time. Of course, you can work on it however you need to, all on your own. You got one, two, three, and two. gets us going in lesson two. The next lesson, lesson three, we use some of the same chords we've done so far. So, so far in this mini course we've covered G, E minor, C, D, and D7. We won't cover a new chord in the next lesson, but we'll work on strumming in three, four time with these chords. So, it's gonna be great. I'll see you again. Hope you're having fun playing the guitar. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.